Oh, the humble fan. A simple yet essential contraption. Its unwavering gust of air ensured that my slumber remained undisturbed and granted me a restful night's sleep. It's day four here in uh, West Africa, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast. Give you some, some context of where I'm at now. I'm, so every day we wake up, uh, every day we, we um, I'm sorry, I'm tired. I'm really sleepy. I'm somewhat getting used to the heat. I'm really sticky right now. Um, you know, uh, comfortability is not Africa's, you know, fine point, but I have no, no right to complain about anything, to be honest. Last night on our drive back, so, so what we do is we wake up, we, uh, what we do is we wake up at 6.30 in the morning, we drive to the hotel, uh, to work and, and to, to get there before traffic hits, but, um, you know, once the day's over, we drive here at night, uh, around 10 or 11, and then, um, we start all over again. Usually I try to stay at the hotel, um, but today I stayed at, at Chef Rose's, um, house here in, um, here in Abidjan, and, um, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting used to the heat. Um, there's a lot of things that I want to discuss and talk about, but I'm gonna wait for later on. In this last night on our way home, I saw a child get hit by a car, and I can't get it out of my head. Um, but it's good, you know, everything's okay. I just, I'm hot, I'm tired, and I'm in good shape though. I just woke up literally, I'm trying to do these every morning I wake up, so. As we journeyed towards the hotel, a profound sense of wonder and the sheer magnificence of this place leaving me in a state of awe and renders me speechless sometimes with its beauty and grandeur. What's your name? Augie. Augie. Uh. Augie. Your name? Go, 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 Medina. Medina. go, 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 video. 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 <laughs> you think it's a photo? It's a video. You don't know what I'm saying. Video. Yeah, video. See? You see? It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Just arrived at the hotel. I mean, shit, it's probably already about 80 degrees with humidity. It's probably up to 90. I don't even know, man. It is just a hot place. Everything moves so slow here because it's so hot. But we're moving up to, uh, I'm headed to my favorite little morning routine right now. There's a hotel next door to the hotel that I'm working at. And they have a, a monkey. It's sad, he's in a cage, but um, I like to go say hello to him every morning. And uh, sometimes he's in a good mood, sometimes he's in a bad mood. But, you know, we'll see if he's in a good mood today. Georgie's his name. Georgie. Hello, Georgie. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Mr. Georgie. Hello, are you in a good mood today? Don't Come take on. my film, no. no. <laughs> hey. hey. Here. Well, here. I lost at Hector 100. He's the rat bastard. Goodbye, Georgie. Yeah, I got you. Oh, scared me. Oh. <laughs> he took my film. 
it. <laughs> As the first rays of sun painted the sky in vibrant hues, we roused from our slumber at the early hour of 5.15 a.m. Fully aware that our destination awaited us, the Pasquilla of Our Lady of Peace in Yamasukura. It's an architectural marvel located approximately four hours away. The bustling streets were permeated with heavy air, making it clear that the traffic congestion posed a threat to our respiratory well-being. As we neared our desired location, uncertainty clouded our driver, Bamba, as he grappled with the correct route to take. However, fortune smiled upon us when a friendly local hopped in our vehicle, extending a helping hand and navigating the labyrinth of the streets. With newfound guidance and renewed sense of direction, we pressed forward, eager to reach our awe-inspiring Pasquilla that beckoned us. I don't know. So we are. I woke up this morning at four. What time do I wake up? What time do you wake me up? Five a.m. Rose woke me up at five a.m. this morning to come to this place. Not just this, but many different okay, things. I'm so cool. I'm so cool. And the I'm issue so is, cool. the issue is, none of us, not a single person that's in the car has any cash. I have. Well, and they just fucked all my cards. <laughs> and they just blocked all of Ruben's cards. All my three cards. All his three cards are blocked. I have no, I have no debit card or anything. So we're dead broke in Africa. We got some water. We got some water. <laughs> we got beer. But we're about. Beer. We're, we got beer from Turkey. We're about four hours outside of uh, of Abidjan. And we're just gonna go explore today. But this is where we're at, the world's largest church. And we lost Terrence. And we lost Terrence. And we almost got Bamba arrested. So. All right. We stopped off at a, a grain village off the road in the middle of a of nowhere, I'm the only white guy. Very incredible. Very incredible. I'm just kind of a loss of words, nothing really to say. Very incredible. Just a whole different world. We have, uh, we're leaving a, one of the markets. We picked up a local man. He's going to take us to a village uh, up the road. Oh, 
It's okay. Words fail to capture the overwhelming emotion that engulfs me within this place. It is an experience beyond description as if my very being is entangled in tapestry of awe and wonder. The love that permeates the air is palpable, reaching deep into the depths of my soul, stirring the profound connection that defies explanation. It's an indescribable sensation, a fusion of joy, serenity, and reverence that leaves an undeniable mark on my heart. <laughs> 